So are self-replicating polymer strands considered a code? What about a proton gradient? A hurricane is a Carnot engine, therefore should we say that every hurricane has a designer? Um, well, I'm not an expert on hurricanes. Uh, I'm not saying you are, Diane. <laughs> I was thinking more about the polymer strands. <laughs> but anyway, go, go, going back to the self-replicating polymer strands, um, you... They are a system, uh, self-replicating strands work once they've been made, but you then have to go step back. Who made them? The, the, that whole process um, had to be invented in the first place before it works. <laughs> but, uh, so, so, yes, there are self-replicating polymer strands um, in the... Um, in the cell, but in order to self-replicate, they actually involve a whole lot of other uh, other molecules, um, including proteins. And in order to make proteins, you need DNA and RNA. Um, so uh, you, you have that that sort of um, circular system we talked about in our program on the origin of life. But you need to st step back and say, well, yes, that works once it's been set up. But who set it up in the first place? It didn't invent itself. Uh, it, it's like a machine that works, but the machine didn't design itself. Uh, it works once it's been designed and built. And the same is true of hurricanes. Someone had to yeah. design mm -hmm. the laws of our universe and how they mm -hmm. work, how they function, and God design the, all these laws into existence so that these processes work and occasionally they produce hurricanes the oceans warm the heat rises the air starts to pass. we won't go there <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. yeah, just right. because something isn't random doesn't mean that it uh, it uh, uh, it's made itself you, you yeah. have to to look at it from the look at the whole thing from the uh, from the outside and think well yes um once it's set up yes it does work but who how did it get set up in the first yes. place mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.